This is Twit. Okay, now, Leo, <laughs> if you've got a version of Chrome around, you want to go to webplatform.news. W E B P L A T F O R M dot news. And <clears throat> what comes up is an, an innocuous looking page, but it just puts something on your clipboard without your permission. So uh, you now open like Notepad or something and hit Control V to paste, and you will see a message reading, Hello. This message is in your clipboard because you visited the website Web Platform News in a browser that allows websites to write to the clipboard without the user's permission. Sorry for the inconvenience. For more information wow. about this, yeah, huh? <laughs> no, it did not happen to me. Uh, I'm not using Chrome. Okay. Would this happen on Chrome all browsers? Or, uh, uh, I tried it on Edge. And it all, yes, it's got to be a Chromium based browser. Ah, so let not, me try it on not, Edge. Okay. I was not using Firefox. Firefox. Uh, good for you because yeah. Firefox, now Firefox has a related problem. And this wasn't clear to me as I was tracking this down. So, again, to all of our listeners uh, in a Chromium based browser, Chrome or, you know, Edge, Brave, Opera, Vivaldi that I was just talking about, webplatform.news. And then, like, open Notepad and hit Control V to paste, and you'll get a happy little message planted onto your oh. uh, clipboard. <laughs> right, you are, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully, to our listening audience, it's needless to say this is not safe. Yeah. Uh, and more than being unsafe, some consider it to be a major security issue. The problem is that the browser's interaction with the clipboard is somewhat tricky, and web developers have been tinkering around with it, considering the deliberate addition of some non-interactive access. You know, it seems pretty clear to me that a user should have to clearly highlight and mark something on a web page, then explicitly issue some form of clipboard copy command to, for their browser to be given permission to modify their system's clipboard. Now, and, and what it feels to me is that, like, the, the web designers must be saying, hey, well, other, you know, native first-party OS apps are able to put something on the clipboard if they want to. Why shouldn't a browser? Why should it not be, you know, equally entitled? Well, <laughs> the answer is, you know, browsers are out hitting random pages, pulling ads in from God knows where, running scripts from who knows who, and all of that should have the ability to put stuff on your desktop clipboard without your knowledge or permission? I don't think so. So, okay, so, you know, I, I could see... The benefits of having a web page announce that something has already been placed on the user's clipboard, you know, if that was like clearly in their benefit, if they if they really wanted that to happen. But unfortunately, it offers bad guys far more, you know, far, far too much opportunity for carnage. And there appears to be there appears to be some lack of clarity on this front. Web developer Jeff Johnson said that what he's calling the clipboard poisoning attack was accidentally introduced in Chrome version 104. Uh, okay, and I don't know what, what 104 he's talking about. We just got 102, and that's what I'm running, and it's in there. But looking over the pertinent Chromium discussion thread, it actually kind of muddies the water. I have a link to the, in the show notes to the discussion thread. But for example... Last Monday, that is Monday before last, not yesterday, uh, eight days ago, from Microsoft on August 29th, Mike, a Microsoft Edge person using the Chromium engine said it's Pry 3, which I guess means Priority 3, because this behavior has been here since we shipped Async Clipboard APIs. It is not a regression However, I agree that this should be fixed. What? 
Uh, okay, so not a regression means it isn't something that we broke, but this guy is saying, I agree this should be fixed, and we should send a breaking change email to blink-dev to figure out the right process to add the transient user activation restriction to the APIs. And then he says, I guess Pry1 makes sense since Firefox and Safari are also considering adding the transient user activation. And then parens, instead of a user gesture requirement, which is what they have now. The reason, Leo, it didn't happen to you under Firefox is due to the deliberate presence of something they're, they're calling the user gesture requirement, meaning you have to do something in order to, like, enable this event. Now, and so, it, is, it is writing, not reading. I mean, if I reading the clipboard correct, would be very correct. problematic. Correct. What is the hazard of writing to my clipboard? Okay, so... Um, I can see the, said, I can see the usefulness of it, but I yes. don't know what the problem is. So Jeff says, for example, while the problem exists in Apple and Safari, uh, Apple Safari and Mozilla My and Firefox as well, uh, what makes the issue more severe in Chrome is that the requirement for a user gesture to copy content to the clipboard is currently broken. Uh, uh, Jeff appears to be okay. So I, I had this here somewhere. It says, oh. Um, the idea that the danger of this is not glaringly apparent to the web developers is a bit surprising. Uh, so, um, so, uh, okay, I, I sort of got thrown off here. Uh, <laughs> I apologize. I, sh I shouldn't I interject. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I did, I did, I have that covered here. Okay, go back notes. to your, you can answer Put a pin in it and get to that. So, <laughs> so we're going to get to your question. Thank Leo. you. <laughs> uh, so, so, the, so, the, uh, so last Tuesday on August 30th, the Chromium guy in this thread said, to be clear, reading, he had it in all caps, from the clipboard always requires a permission. He says, very much like geolocation, microphone, etc. And he said, to see what this looks like, check out this demo site. And there's a link to async-clipboard-api.glitch.me. <clears throat> then he says, writing plain text or images to the clipboard can currently be accomplished without a permission or user gesture, although the site and tab in question must be foregrounded. He says, we are looking to tighten up the security model here. And he said, neither one of these behaviors has changed recently, nor does the new tab page test rely on permissionless, gesture gestureless clipboard access. Anyway, so anyway, so at this point, the, the, the web developer who thinks this is an issue, Jeff Johnson, says, you know, that Safari, uh, that Safari and Firefox are considering making this smoother, not requiring there to be a gesture. <coughs> so Jeff appears to be saying that Safari and Firefox require the user to have some interaction with the page, though not necessarily a clipboard copy. He, he does say that clicking a link or pressing the arrow key to scroll down gives the website permission to overwrite your system clipboard. So you don't even need to do, you just need to have any inter interaction with the page in order for that permission currently in Safari and Firefox to be given. And they're considering synchronizing themselves with Chromium where even that's not necessary. So al although the Chromium guys are saying, uh, and, and even the Microsoft guy is saying, maybe we better rethink this. So the idea that the danger of this is, okay, so blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so uh, aside from being annoying and, and worrying, we have the ability of any web page to replace my system's clipboard data without my permission. Okay, if I were, if I were using my computer and I had something on the clipboard 
and then I went to paste it somewhere else, and I got some message, I got some, like, image or text that I had never seen before, I would be sure that my machine had been infected with malware of some kind hmm. that had messed with my clipboard without my permission. No, I mean, I would be freaked out. That's somebody who doesn't understand how the clipboard works, because it happens all the time. Password managers wipe the clipboard so your pasted so your clipboard can't be read with the password on it. It's not at all unusual for clipboards to have multiple different versions of the content depending on where you're pasting and do content aware paste. So you might get an image in some case, you might get a text in another case. The clipboard is is often manipulated by the OS. This is not at all unusual. So you're saying if you pasted the contents of your clipboard and it was something you had never seen before and you had never pasted into the clipboard, that wouldn't concern you? Well, yeah, I mean, Come I on. guess it shouldn't be something random, but, it but would clipboards be. are they often are, it, manip manipulated by the operating system. That's not unusual. By you, by user hitting edit, paste, no, 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 edit, no, no, no. copy. No, 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 no. I mean, LastPass wipes... How many times you have a, a password on your clipboard that gets wiped after 10 seconds or you set the time it gets wiped automatically there's things happen to your clipboard all the time and as i said uh clipboards have uh, in, at least on the mac probably not on windows okay so you're saying you would have no problem if random pages that you visit are writing to your desktop well usually they do clipboard. that for utility right so they'll paste something in there uh that you're going to want to uh a link or something that you're going to want to paste somewhere else. So they'll try to do it for utility. That's why this feature exists. All right, so it's scaring you. I got it. Is it hazardous? Um, certainly. You could imagine that you're that you that a a site or page manipulates you so that you you have a a a, a, a cryptocurrency address on your clipboard which the web page changes behind your back without you knowing it that's or a good pastes. there's a good malicious use but we say or, all the time or, you shouldn't trust your clipboard right i mean we say that all the time okay so so the issue is no user permission the i mean no user action at all you you go to the new york times and an ad on the new york times put in your clipboard yeah yeah no, puts anything it wants, right. not the ad. It puts anything it wants in your clipboard. It just, to, to me, I mean, you know, the good news is the, the, every, the now that this has come to light, that the web designers are saying, oh, uh, okay, we need to do something. I'm sure that they thought it was cool that you'd be interacting with a web app and the, and and the web app would say, okay, uh, we're all finished doing what you wanted. The, the results are waiting for you on your clipboard. Um, I don't have any problem in, you know, using Google Docs and marking something and then hitting Control V and it gets pasted to my clipboard. That's what I want. But I have a problem if I go to some website and without and knowing, because because I'm like you, Leo. I mean, I'm using my computer. I know what's on my clipboard, you know. And 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 typically, I'm copying and pasting things. And yes, I've also ha often had the experience. Sometimes it's annoying. In fact, that LastPass has erased it, erased a password. You know, <laughs> it's always before annoying. I before <laughs> I was able to paste it right. somewhere. But it's for good reason. Yeah, um, and so I go. Okay, yeah, no, I think fire. okay. I'll, yeah, I could see the I could see the hazard here. You that was a perfect example of it. You know, because you can't really a uh, crypto uh, account number is so long, you might not remember the one you had cut and instead put a different one in, that would be a big, and, big problem. And yeah. normally you don't even attempt. It's like it's like right. a long password. You're you don't even attempt to, to, to like, you know, yeah. memorize it yeah. and then make sure that it's So we use it copy and paste for for something like that all the time. Yeah, that's a good right. point. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, the good news is that these guys are looking at it. I just thought it was it it was a little jarring to just go to a page and you know and have it change our clipboard without us giving permission and so to me it be, be, just because i mean yes it's true that any app that we have on our desktop could do this but we would consider it a an a a misbehaving app if it was changing our clipboard in a way that didn't benefit us and we know what's on the internet 
you know, I would say way less than half of it benefits us. So I don't want, you know, pages that I happen to encounter or, or components of pages like an ad to run some script that changes my clipboard. That's just yeah. like hands, hands yeah. off my clipboard. I, just, I, see, I think there's utility, and that's why they put it in. Yes. But I could see that yes. potential hazard. Yeah. And, yeah, and, you know, they're wanting it to be a first-class citizen of the desktop. And my only reservation is eh, not everything that lands in my browser is something that I want to trust my desktop You actually with. raised probably the real reason why Google did this, Google Docs. Which is a browser-only experience, but they want it to be like a desktop app, right? Yep. Or Gmail. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I use the crap out of the the the, the docs, you know, cross clipboard ability. In fact, oh, one of my biggest peeves is that you cannot copy an image out of Google Docs and move it somewhere else. It like refuses to let you have it for some reason it just drives me nuts but you know you have to jump through hoops to do that but anyway uh speaking of unwanted features <laughs>